thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about Lorraine Hansberry, an award-winning playwright who is best known for the play A Raisin in the Sun. Number one, Lorraine Vivian Hansberry was born in 1930 into a very politically active family, so she became very involved in advocacy at a very young age. Her parents were very close to some very important activists, including W.E.B. Du Bois and Paul Robeson. When Lorraine was just eight years old, her parents bought a new house in a suburb of South Chicago that was a white neighborhood. Her very racist new neighbors uh, attempted to force them out, and the case actually ended up going all the way to the Supreme Court where these racist white neighbors eventually lost, and so they were allowed to remain in their home. Fact number two, Lorraine attended the University of Wisconsin at Madison and immediately got involved in activism. In fact, she actually ended up integrating her dormitory. She went on to study art at the University of Guadalajara in Mexico, and then in 1950, she went to the New School in order to pursue writing. Soon after she moved to New York, she ended up moving to Harlem and became very involved with the political activism of the area. She ended up fighting the evictions of the black uh, people in the neighborhood, as well as got involved with Paul Robeson's newspaper, Freedom, where she did everything from cover subscriptions, as well as to go down to Georgia in order to write about different lynching cases. Lorraine was very vocal about the fight for civil rights in the US, as well as a global fight against colonialism and imperialism. She very specifically focused on the women's struggles, of course, and she advocated for both violent and nonviolent protests. She was so integrated into this advocacy that the FBI actually ended up trailing her because they thought that she was a danger to the US and its people. Fact number three. Lorraine's brief but very incredible work as a playwright is what she is most known for. Her play, A Raisin in the Sun, which she wrote in 1957 and was critically acclaimed by 1959, basically explored the lives of black Americans living under racial segregation in Chicago. Lorraine became the first black woman to have a play performed on Broadway, and this play earned her the New York Drama Critics Circle Award, and she was the fifth woman to ever win this award, and at the age of 29, she was the youngest playwright to ever receive this award. Lorraine also actually wrote two different screenplays based on this play, but they were rejected by Columbia Pictures because they were quote unquote too controversial. She actually also wrote a TV series called The Drinking Gourd, which she pitched to NBC. And although they said that the writing was superb, they didn't pick it up because of its content. Fact number four. Lorraine is actually a closeted lesbian, but she did briefly marry Jewish publisher, activist, and songwriter Robert Nemiroff for four years. In a typical fashion, they actually ended up attending a protest the night before the wedding. So they were only married for four years, but they did remain um, creative partners throughout the rest of her life. And his songwriting success allowed her to focus on her writing even after their divorce. Although Lorraine was closeted, which was later discovered because of secret letters and notebooks, she was a very strong early advocate for gay rights. Fact number five. Unfortunately, Lorraine died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 34. She left behind a lot of unfinished uh, novels and plays, exploring everything from racism to a post-apocalyptic world. Her ex-husband, Robert Nemiroff, dedicated himself to making sure that her work lived long after she had passed. He completed the play Le Blanc and combined some of her writings into a play to be young, gifted, and black. There are many people who commemorated her life, including Nina Simone, who wrote a song about her, and Martin Luther King Jr. eulogized her by saying, her creative ability and her profound grasp of the deep social issues confronting the world today will remain an inspiration to generations yet to come. 
Thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday to learn all about this incredible woman and the very short but huge impact that she had on our world.